Hello everyone, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, we're going to continue with our VBA tutorials. So if you have done our first tutorial, you would have a developer tab. So if you haven't done that, please go back to our first tutorial. From the developer tab, what we're going to do is we're going to explore the macro function. What is the macro function? Basically, it records whatever you have done in Excel. So a list of things you've done in Excel, if you ever feel like repeating it, record it, and then you won't have to ever do it again. So for example, let's say I have a mark uh, exam grade calculator, okay? And then I have exam one, exam two, exam three and I record your marks and I record your average mark over here so for example let's say you got um, 30 marks in exam one 50 marks in exam two 80 marks in exam three what is your average you got equals average bracket highlight these and now you have 53 marks is your average now if i am doing student number one then this is his average and then student number two i'm gonna have to highlight them delete and then enter another three marks okay so if i want to automate uh automate the process automate the process of deleting the cells then I can simply create a macro. So I'm going to go 100, 50, 90, and then I'm going to go record macro. Okay, usually you would give macro a name. So I'm going to put in here delete a clear marks. Now, with the name of macros, you're not allowed spaces. So I just use a underscore in here, and then you just press OK. So now it's recording it. So I'm just going to highlight everything here and I'm going to press delete and then I'm going to press stop recording, stop recording. So where did the macro go? The macro, if you click on macros, the clear marks macro is now in here. So let's say I put in 60, 90, 100 and I want to delete these numbers. I just go into macros and I can run the macro and all of these cells are deleted. So you might say, well, I need to click macros and I need to click run. So that's a lot of trouble. Well, I might as well just highlight them and press delete myself. That is why we can now insert a button. So if you insert a button, drag your button somewhere on here and we're going to assign to it the macro that we've created called clear marks click ok and you can see this button here called button one i can just delete the text on the button and change it to clear marks okay so now what's going to happen is i can type some things here 50 60 90 click clear marks and now the marks are gone okay hopefully this helps you guys understand macros which is a big first step to um, learning VBA okay thanks for watching guys see you next time